Kanye West is an American producer, rapper, and fashion designer who rose to popularity in the early 2000s after building a successful production career in the late 1990s. His wealth and possessions have prompted comparisons to Steve Jobs, Walt Disney, and even Michelangelo and Da Vinci. His music has earned him millions, but it is thanks to his fashion line and huge deal with Adidas that he has reached billionaire status, with a net worth of $6.6 billion. An amount huge enough to buy a large number of properties, mansions, and almost anything else you can think of. So sit back and relax as we continue to discuss how Kanye West spends its billions. It's no surprise the music industry has made Kanye more than enough money. But Kanye's vast fortune has nothing to do with his number one hits. Plus, his music catalog is worth $100 million. But it's his fashion empire that has made him a billionaire. Kanye's partnership with German sportwear giant Adidas is said to be worth up to 3.7 billion euros. Which means that whenever Adidas sells a pair of $1,000 C's sneakers, he gets a cut. Although Kanye spends a lot of money, he does save some money for a rainy day. In fact, the stock portfolio is worth at least $122 million. Kanye wants to be the most successful and prolific real estate developer in the world, in addition to conquering the music world. So it's no surprise that he has a sizable and valuable real estate portfolio worth approximately $100 million. The $60 million abode in Hidden Hills, California is filled with overly expensive appliances and furniture, including a bathroom sink worth whooping $30,000. This 15,667-square-foot mansion was purchased in 2014 for a mere $20 million, and another $20 million was spent on renovations to create a minimalist and monochromatic interior. Kanye wanted to own as much land in the area as possible, so he bought the neighboring property for $30 million as well as 300 acres in nearby Calabasas. He also owned a 2,427 square foot condo in New York worth $4.7 million and a 9,000 square foot mansion in Bel Air worth $17.8 million which he later sold to buy two ranches in Wyoming. Kanye's $14 million ranch includes, in addition to sheep and cattle, an event venue, a maintenance shop, an office building, sheds, corals, a barn, and a state-of-the-art shooting gallery. Kanye owns a number of rare and expensive cars in addition to his real estate portfolio. Aside from purchasing supercars, he spends millions of dollars customizing them to his exact specifications. The sleek matte black $180,000 Porsche Panamera is powered by a 400 horsepower 4.8 liter V8 engine and can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in less than 5 seconds. In addition, his windshield less rare supercar, the Mercedes SLR Sterling Moss, worth $1.06 million, is outfitted with a 5.5 liter supercharged V8 capable of propelling the limited edition supercar from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Kanye also owns several Lamborghinis including a stylish $750,000 Lamborghini Aventador that Kim gave him for his birthday, as well as a $209,000 Lamborghini Gallardo, the 5.0-liter V10 engine, a roboticized sequential paddle gear shift, and an electrically folded soft top. Not only that, but his love of James Bond 
has led him to purchase a $200,000 Aston Martin DB9 Volante. Finally, the $1.2 million red diamond truck is considered the strongest vehicle in his collection because it has ruby and gold badging and bulletproof glass. Kanye, as a fashion icon, has frequently been spotted wearing watches worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. In fact, his watch collection is probably worth more than your house or cars. His expensive watch collections are far more luxurious, with one worth $46,200,000 and another $140,000. Among his many Rolex watches, for $17,980 President Day Date, a $25,990 Cosmograph Dayton, a $10,990 Submariner Vintage, and a $48,000 Seat Master II. Not to mention his $300 Egyptian inspired King Horse Gold Necklace, which he wears whenever he's out and about or on the red carpet. Basically, the more expensive, the better. As he looked like a pharaoh, wearing it when he performed at the 2010 BET Awards. Having billions in your pocket does not only allow you to spend outrageous amounts of money on yourself. Kanye also spends large sums of money on gifts for his friends and family. In fact, before proposing to Kim, he purchased a 15 karat diamond engagement ring estimated to be worth between $200,000 and $4 million. Not only that, but because one ring wasn't enough, Kanye purchased Kim a second diamond engagement ring worth $4.8 million. But the 20 karat ring was stolen, so Kanye purchased Kim an identical replacement. He didn't stop there. He also gave Kim a $240,000 lime green Mercedes-Benz G-Class SUV in a 14,700 square foot Miami apartment worth $14 million. To show his love for Kim, Kanye once filled her living room with $100,000 worth of long-stemmed roses as an epic Valentine's Day gift. And he also hired Kenny G to serenade her and perform some of his smooth jazz hits. Kanye, aside from being a romantic, also enjoys traveling. He may not own a private jet, but he certainly travels in style. He once rented a $10 million Boeing 747 private jet so he and Kim could visit Japan. The trip was not cheap. Renting a Boeing 747 private jet costs around $50,000 per hour. Northwest, Kim and Kanye West's daughter may be the most spoiled child on the planet. Her parents buy her pretty much anything she wants. In fact, Kanye spent more than $74,000 in Christmas gifts for his daughter in 2014 and she woke up on Christmas morning to find a $62,000 diamond tiara as well as a $12,000 toy SUV that was an exact replica of the one her best father owned. After all that, you've probably heard that Kim and Kanye are now divorced. If you are wondering who gets it, the lawyers may have an easy job ahead of them because Kim and Kanye are both billionaires. So neither of them will end up in a poor house. Because their joint assets will be divided equally, Kanye will be required to pay Kim $1 million for each year they were married. Regardless, according to the terms of their prenup, Kanye's album The College Dropout has sold over 3.35 million copies, making it Kanye's best-selling album of all time. Despite never reaching the top of the Billboard charts, Kanye's 2004 album marked at the start of his path to superstardom and reaches. It's no surprise that Kanye can afford to buy so many properties 
including its $170 million home in 2020. So, what do you think of Kanye's mansions and rare supercar collections? Are they worth even half of his net worth? Do you think Kanye would continue to spend a lot of money in his watch collection? Let us know in the comment below. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Lux Life, hit the subscribe button. Cheers!